This is an open letter from a tired mum to the local authority. Dear Hannah, I'm so fed up and worn out by this process. I just don't think I can do it anymore. My little boy turned six last week. He's not really had any formal education in his time on this planet, except what his dad and I have done with him. He just doesn't fit into the box that school set. I've spent £2,000 of my own money to seek out an educational psychologist report which accurately represents his needs and struggles in hope that this will evidence the things that I know intrinsically as his mum, in hope that we can garner appropriate support from the local authority. I have shouted, cried, stayed up until the early hours reading, researching and talking to others, all while trying to support my little boy through his own anxieties and the difficulties he experiences being a square peg in a world that wants to put him in a round hole. Academically, he's at an age-appropriate stage, except for his literacy, which might be due to dyslexia. This is thanks purely to the work that his dad and I have done with him. He's gained nothing of any worth from any outside source. I know to you, he's just a name on a piece of paper, part of your caseload, but to me, he's Millie, the beautiful little boy who knows his own mind, who can't sit on a chair conventionally, who gets so excited when he has something to say, it's hard to remember, to put his hand up and wait his turn. He's the boy who has to be the loudest thing in the room, the boy who treats every person as an equal regardless of age or status. The boy who wears his heart on his sleeve and will always speak out for what is fair and just. He is the boy who will not bend to the unnecessary demands imposed by the neurotypical world purely for its own convenience. And I know to you, I am an irritating woman who keeps sending you stroppy emails. But to him, I am Mama, his safe place his advocate, his teacher, his friend, his ally, his voice. I'm the one who sits with him until he falls asleep, who holds him when he cries, who laughs with him, who discusses Pokemon endlessly with him. I'm tired. I give up. You win. I elect to educate it myself at home. All I was asking for was the funds to be able to help us make this a bit easier for us as a family who are already stretched at the hill financially. But the time I spend checking emails, reading websites, trawling through legal documents, reviewing case law and researching terminology is all time that I could be dedicating to my sweet boy. It's not worth it for a few measly quid to pay for swimming lessons and a Twinkle subscription. I hope one day this world will appreciate people like Billy for their amazing talents and their unique outlook. Imagine if more people could stand up for their convictions and say, you, instead of yes sir. I'm going to channel my inner Billy and all the fantastic things he's shown me. He will not fit in your boxes and neither will I. If the LA won't help us, we'll do it ourselves. Always remember the name Billy Wingrove because that boy is going to do amazing things and I will be right beside him.